welcome to schooling at home so we found out today that there were some questions about the take-home packets that we sent home for all of our students to have so they can work every day from home we have everything in a big red folder or some color folder and then we have a manila folder like this and in this manila folder is all the work for this week so if you're home Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, this is the work you do. If you're home Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, this is the work you do. Okay. So right on the inside page, I have the work listed by subject. And you can work through it any way that you'd like. But for math, I included a game called Close to 100. All the directions are here and the game cards are here. They just have to be cut out. And the game board that where you record your answers are right here. And basically, you're just trying to make numbers that will get you close to 100. There's also a 200 chart in there to help you do that. And then you can play this every day, at least two games, which is 10 rounds a day. And that will give you the practice you need. And then on Wednesday, I have a worksheet in there that will help record some of your learning. So on Wednesday, you can do one side of the worksheet, and then on Thursday, you can do the other side of the worksheet. So you play the game every day. One day you do one side of the worksheet, another day you do the other side of the worksheet. And that is math. For reading, you are expected to read independently every day for 30 minutes. We do have um, an epic website that I'm gonna be putting up on Google Classroom later. And I also sent invites to everyone. So you will find assigned books in there and you can also browse the books in there so that you can read. But you should read 30 minutes every day, every day to yourself and then read to another person as well, whatever book you are working on. All right, that's reading. Also for reading, I included some math problems. You can do three or four of them every day. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Tuesday if you wanna to start today and basically just read the problems, circle your clues, and then put a number sentence to write your answer. And that is all written right here in the folder too. And for writing, for writing, I would like you to research a woman that you admire. It can be a famous woman or just a woman that you know. You're gonna answer some questions about her on this template. Her bright idea, her name, the year she was born, and how she changed the world, what she does that makes her a star, and something that she did that showed she cared about other people. So this can be a famous person or just someone you know. Because And then you're gonna cut them out, glue them onto this paper, cut them out, and then you can use a hanger and string to make a mobile with it and bring them to school because I'd really love to hang it up when we all come back together. That I have for writing. Uh, for science. I'd love you to go outside. It's supposed to be like 70 on, on uh, Friday, which is crazy. So on Friday, you can save your science. Go out there and look for signs of spring. You can write down all the things that you feel outside that tells you it's spring, the things you smell, and the things you see, right? So this is just for you to draw and make records of it. Make sure this comes back in too, because I want to see all the amazing information that you came up with. So I, of course, I always give you the chance to do more because doing more is what makes you better, right? So I have a couple of templates for poems. I got a leprechaun poem, my wish, my wish on a four leaf clover poem, poem. You can do both of these, one of these, both of these, or just write your own poems. So writing your poems every day about spring would be a really good way to share with us what you know. Okay, so the uh, and then I'm onto the red folder now. In the red folder, there is a lot of work, and I'm going to make a second video to go through this so that I can upload this one. 